Um, theme number two. So, I'm really excited about it. It was my idea. Yes. Gosh. Theme number two is Jess's idea, she and I love me it. Before I came out to Utah, mm -hmm. she's like, Do you want to do three at three with me on Monday? I'm like, Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> she's like, What should we do? I'm like, I've had this idea for a while, mm -hmm. but it's a really cute one. I just had to, I had to figure it out on the machine and everything. Yes. And I did, and I, it's really cute. It is really cute. So, so, what are we talking about? Well, so it, for those of you who have held on to your children or your grandchildren's Santa letters, we have an idea for you to be able to preserve those for years to come. Now, I know some of you are going to just say, well, Chris, you have to have a special machine for that. Yes. 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 But. There's a special machine that we're going to show off today to you. But, but hopefully, whether you have this machine or not, maybe you have a friend too. Yes. We want to show you what are the possibilities of doing some things with some really cool machines. Mm -hmm. And it is Christmas, and it's not too late to get the machine of your dreams. Just saying. Just saying. So. Get it we now wanna... before you have to wait till March or something. There you to go. Get it. Exactly. So let's show now. a letter. Well, mm -hmm. we were trying to find mine. Yes. We couldn't find one. We couldn't find time. it in time. So it's in a box someone else. somewhere. So we got another little child's one. Isn't little Tessa. So cute little Tessa. Dear Santa, where are you? I love you. I be good. I be good. <laughs> I be good. <laughs> No apostrophe, but that's okay. That's all right. That makes it even better. I think and then Tessa. And then look at the cute little Christmas tree and reindeer. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness. And so what I what we're gonna show you today is how do you take this and transfer it onto an embroidery machine and stitch it out? Let me go grab the thing. Okay, so just so gonna go this? grab that. How do you turn this into this? So here's the letter, and it's really been on my bucket list is that one of these days I'm going to take all of my children's letters because I have saved them. Just can't. We, we, we did a move not too long ago, and they're in a box somewhere. So but how do you turn this? This into this. Are you kidding me? This is so cute too. Yes, you Look could totally fun. hand stitch it as well. Today we're going to show you how it works on the embroidery machine. But yes, you could definitely hand stitch this. So it does it a lot faster, and it's so it's cool. It's just so neat. I know. I love it. I love it because it's their writing. It's their like, exact. Look at that. Look how same accurate that is. Writing. That is so cute. So. Then what I want to do is I want to take all of my children's Santa letters and I want to put them into a quilt mm -hmm. and have a Christmas quilt mm -hmm. for this. Yes. Okay. Yes. So today we're going to show you how this is done on the Altair. So Jess, why don't you take okay. us step by step of okay. how this works? All right. So take the your baby lock Altair. Let me just give a little spiel about this it is okay. so fun mm -hmm. to play on um i've been learning lots about it how um the digitizing part works of it because you can actually digitize right on your machine you don't need like special software mm -hmm. on a computer or anything like that's available if you mm -hmm. want to go into more depth but if you want to do basic digitizing mm -hmm. it is awesome awesome okay. tina said love this mm -hmm. yes so it's the baby lock altair it has what we call IQ designer, okay? I don't, for those of you with baby lock, you'll recognize that um, that name, mm -hmm. um, which is the digitizing software on the machine. Now, the Altair has what, an app on your phone mm. and it's called IQ positioning. Okay. okay, IQ positioning. And then there's another one that's called IQ monitoring that actually alerts me when my machine is on to the next step. And it says, oh, time for a thread change. Like if so I if step you want to go like, you know, cook some dinner or something, you can walk away and then come back. Or run to get pizza. Yeah. <laughs> is this my daughter or what? <laughs> okay. Like, okay. Mm -hmm. let's, let's be real here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I do cook. <laughs> You're a very good cook. Um. 
so yeah, I can step away from the machine and it actually alerts me saying, hey, time to change, time the thread. To change thread. Or maybe there was an error. Maybe your thread broke. Yeah, it will tell you that something too. something like that. So mm -hmm. um, Switch laundry. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, I get new clothes. Yes. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to be using the IQ positioning app. Okay. Um, you where want to show it on, sh go ahead yeah, and show your me, screen. Let me, okay. So this is the app. And when I click on it, it has three different options for me. It says photo frame for easy positioning. So I can easily rehoop and, um, send the picture i know it's a lot to <laughs> i should do a class on this yes you i should. should yes um and then iq designer it says photo frame for creating design and then the last one says select image for creating design okay so the one that we're going to be focusing on today is the select image for creating design okay okay so what you do you take your child's um paper um we traced over the original one so then it doesn't so we'd have good line work we'd have good line work because mm -hmm. you want to use a black marker so if like say a child were to to create this with crayons right you would you would want to trace this over with a marker so you would just mm -hmm. take another piece of paper mm -hmm. trace over with um like a sharpie right okay right so don't you can use the original one but it might not show up as well you trace it and use a black marker or something but perfect this is actually the original original because okay. they had her draw some other stuff but um and barbara has a question does iq positioning work with a solaris you don't have to worry about iq positioning because you have you a have it built, built into, built the, into machine. the machine okay mm -hmm. whereas the altair you use an app all right so what you do is you just take a normal picture okay let's show okay. you taking the picture let me find your camera. Oh, my camera. Okay. So just I, her regular camera. Just my regular camera. I'm not even in the app. I'm just going to take a picture. Okay. Then I'm going to come to my IQ app. I'm going to click select image. You're going to see all our pictures. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I am going to click the one that I just did. And you can see it's right there. And then I'm going to click the button that says send to the machine what? so my phone's already connected to the altair here okay okay so it's wirelessly sent wirelessly folks wirelessly okay that's crazy so it says sent to iq designer okay and then i'm gonna press okay and let's go over to the machine okay let's do it that was all i had to do for the phone <laughs> yes you can do this on the meridian as well yes someone was asking about that okay Okay. There we go. Okay. So, do you want a chair, Mom? No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I am going to come to the machine here. Do you want to come down here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what you're going to do is you're going to go to IQ Designer. And where this picture is just of lines you're actually going to click li line design okay and you can see here i'm going to bring you around okay <laughs> doing this backwards is super fun okay so you can bring in an image on a usb or if you click here for the wi-fi that's where i wires wirelessly sent it over so i'm going to mm -hmm. click here and then whatever is the top image here is my most recent one okay. okay so i'm gonna have that load and then you see a little preview here of my picture isn't that so cool yeah that's amazing all right so i'm gonna click set oh i don't know if i there we go so there is my picture it actually looks that's amazing. Really, really good. <laughs> it's not super pixelated. All right. Um, this is um, an app just on the baby lock. Mm -hmm. and not for Bernina, but um, I'm sure there's other, th there are other digitizing yeah, softwares. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. But this one is the baby lock altar. Okay. Okay. So then I can crop 
And I wanted to show you the green tree here. When I go in to import this, it's going to pick up the green line, but not the yellow. It's because mm. it's not dark enough. Okay. So if I were to um, draw this again or trace over it, I'd use the black marker, like I said, so then it picks it up really well. Okay. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just crop it because I don't want so, some of that background. Of it. I am for this part. Okay. But I could always do this again and mm -hmm. bring in the Keep tree. The tree. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to press OK. All right, so it's just a preview of what it's um, the lines. OK, it's just a preview. Um, that's not what it's going to stitch out as yet. Okay, okay. so I'm going to go ahead and click Set. And this is where you can do some um, editing. So I'm actually, you can erase. See here, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's the black line from the tree. I don't want it to stitch that. So I'm going to click my little eraser right here. And just have me pick my size. And then I can erase it Whoa, right on the right machine. On the screen. Yeah, isn't that cool? I love that. Now, if I zoom in here, you notice here's the little reindeer. Isn't he so cute? You notice that there's some lines that just don't connect or they're just kind of off or this is a weird little thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take my eraser again and just get rid of that. But I'll show you how to bring in your own. So I'm just going to erase these. Okay. But I still have the picture in the background. Mm. So, it sh so it shows me where um where i want to draw okay so then i'm going to click the pencil here all right and i'm just going to draw a circle but i want that to be completely filled in with a satin stitch wow so i could just go back and forth and back and forth with my finger but that's just too much work i don't have time for that i want to hit <laughs> sewing i'm going to use my little paint bucket and hit the middle of the circle what? And now it's going to do that. a satin stitch right there. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. Isn't that fun? And I want to do the same for the eyes. I'm going to do a circle here, here. Oh, voila. my goodness. Paint bucket. And you could change that color to black. Oh, yeah, you could. Yeah, you can have to be red. If I want, well, I want it to be blue. blue. Look at that. You Look can at change that. the colors. So then you can visually see what you're doing. Because yeah, it mm -hmm. really doesn't matter. What you color do whatever is. color you want, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, and then I want the antlers to, oh, I didn't catch it at the line. Right there. That's okay. so amazing. Isn't that cool? So then I can zoom out. Okay, looks like it didn't pick up the the um, the periods in in the sentence very well. So okay. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in again. Slide over. I can see the original picture right there. Yep. And then I'm gonna do the um, the pencil. Do another circle. I'm gonna do a fill stitch with the paint bucket. Hit the middle wow. there. Okay, so now here's the really fun part. So I've done, I feel like I've done enough editing. I've erased enough stuff that I want to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and press next. And now it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, you can't really see. Hold on. Get closer. There's a glare. There we go. You can't really see. This is highlighted here because it's its own individual stitch out. I'm just going to keep um going between the different ones until I get to a letter. Okay, so here the T is highlighted. Highlighted. <laughs> um but I don't want to do each individual letter like on its own. I want all of the words to be like the same stitch. Okay, so I'm going to press this little link right here. And now you can see everything's highlighted with the words and even the face of the 
Wow. There. So I can decrease the zigzag width. So if I don't want it as wide, I can do, I can go down a bit. If I want to whoops, increase the density, and then I can click preview. Now it's gonna give me, look at, look that. at that. And I can get rid of my background picture. Oh my goodness. So then that's exactly what it's gonna stitch out. That's as. amazing. That's amazing. Isn't that wow. cool? And then you're just hooping it. And yep, I click set, set. And it's gonna go to, um, it's gonna exit IQ Designer and go into embroidery. And click embroidery. And it has all my steps ready. Oh my goodness. Isn't that awesome? That is amazing. It'll take 22 minutes. Um, there's only three steps. And you digitize, what was that? Like less than yeah. 10 minutes? Yeah. You digitize something in less than 10 oh minutes. Oh my gosh. Hey, show it to us again, Jeff. <laughs> and look at this. Isn't that so cute? I love it. So easy. I didn't have to... Um, pull out a computer, no. figure out how to work a program of um, digitizing software. That's amazing. All I did was um, just brought in a picture, edited, and there it is. It's so cute. Yay. Tina said, amazing. Marion said, amazing and so easy. Um, it is awesome. So, all right. Okay, so we're going to come back over here. What do you guys think? Isn't that the coolest? Oh my goodness. So, so fun. I know. I was really excited about how it turned out. And uh, I mean, just look at that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm imagining like, okay, if you don't want to do an entire quilt, you just want to do like a little pillow, um, do like a patchwork around the edge and have this be in the center. Mm -hmm. um, it, yeah. If you didn't want to do a whole quilt, right. you could just do a sweet pillow. Mm -hmm. I think that would be so fun. Yes. And that's all on the machine. It's all on the machine. That's what's so fun. So, mm -hmm. like, that's what really gets me excited about embroidery. Like, yeah, I like the already, like, pre-designed stuff. Like, yeah. trust me, I am a Kimberbella through and through. <laughs> like, absolutely love their stuff. Yep. But it's also kind of nice to change things up and do, like, something that mm -hmm. no one else no yeah. one else has this. It's very Nobody unique. else yeah. has this. I'm but the you. only one. Who designed it? Digitized it? Like, yeah, it's so personalized. It's a child's to you. artwork. Yeah, for so those fun. of you with brother machines, you have my design center. Does yes. the same thing. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. There is. Yeah. So brother and baby lock both have this capability. Yep. Yep. It's so, so fun. Where the software is built in. Now there's other softwares out oh. there that you can, you know, be there's... able to create things like this. But this is the only software. Um, that's built into the machine like with, with the steps that, with we, those did. Steps that yeah. we did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So kind of fun, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Anne said, you're going to put me <laughs> so out. So not business. true. And no, I love these machines and highly recommend them. They're the perfect gift. <laughs> they are and the you know perfect what? gift. We are the perfect gift givers to ourselves. Right. <laughs> really? Because we know exactly we, what we, we want. want. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really fun. Yeah. So hopefully you guys, you know, we all learned something new today from Jess. Thank you so much for the demo. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. That was great. Just, just look at this. Look at his nose. <laughs> his nose is so it's sweet. It's a satin stitch fill, which mm -hmm. is so fun. Mm -hmm. And you could change the colors up if you wanted to. You did to. that so quickly, too. I couldn't believe it. I know. You yeah. Just, that's just ugh, the ease of it. That's what's For so fun. sure. Oh, some of you are late getting on and just seeing Jess. Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> Go back and watch if you get a chance because the, the project she did today was so much fun and so so easy. So, and really the idea is, you know, sometimes you don't know what you don't know. And so mm -hmm. we, we offer these, 
these demos for you to see what's possible. Mm -hmm. What can you imagine doing? Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess that would be a great question to ask you is what can you imagine yourself doing on a machine like this? If you had, you know, the ability to take something that was hand drawn, mm -hmm. for example, and mm -hmm. digitize it just like that. Mm -hmm. I'd love to know. I also, um, you don't have to just do line designs. Let me find a picture of um, one. I When we went to the Rose Gardens in... Um, Look what Gloria said. Makes her want to write her own letter to Santa. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? We went to the Park of Roses in Columbus, if any of you have ever been there. It's beautiful mm -hmm. in the summer. Mm -hmm. um, but I tested it out with this oh. picture right here you can see oh, isn't that pretty oh yeah and it will do a full satin stitch outline wow. of this flower it's gorgeous I wow should've, you should have brought I it brought it it was i, I just did a that. little demo it was beautiful yes um so you can take any picture and you can tell how many colors you want it to be mm -hmm. you can tell it um and it to remove the background you. if you want to oh so like say there's something in the background that uh -huh. you don't want uh -huh. like a photo bomb of some sort like kyle <laughs> photo bombing <laughs> um no it is so slick and so easy so i love that um let's see Wendy said, oh, let's see, right there. It would be perfect for some of the kids' artwork. Yes. Yeah, it wouldn't just have to be a Santa letter, right? I want to do it for my nieces and nephews to give to um, my sister-in-laws. I love that. They would love that. They are, they love to draw, mm -hmm. um, all of them. They're always drawing pictures, giving it to us. I, and <laughs> Actually, I can't remember who, which one said it to me. She's like, I just have too many. I don't know what to do with them. And yes, I, that's where the idea right, came from. I was exactly. like, we should like stitch them out. And then you have like, then you don't feel like you have to keep those ones necessarily. Or it's not, you don't it. feel, you don't feel as bad if you lose them because you've got it. this. Um, cool I'm determined project. to go home and find my box of Santa letters from you kids. Yes. I'm so determined yes. to do it. Kathy says she loves this and have replicated her grandmother's recipe <gasps> and stitched on a tea towel for the family. It's a good memory. I had not thought of the kids' letters to Santa. So oh my gosh. I that love would that. Be cute. Wouldn't it be wonderful in their own writing too? Mm -hmm. I love that. Yep. So um, what? And what, Linda what did this members? did a hot pad for her granddaughter's writing for her mom for Mother's Day. It Very really nice. It really adds that extra special touch mm -hmm. to a project. And like when we show Tessa this, mm -hmm. she is going to She's gonna go flip nuts. out. Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh. She made something what? like that. So uh, Pamela says she would love a little pillow mm -hmm. with her dad's handwriting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if you were to see my handwriting and somebody else's, would you recognize it? Just oh, like absolutely. That? Yeah, absolutely. And so I think the same thing with my parents. I would know exactly whose handwriting that was. And it would be really, really special for mm -hmm. sure. So a lot of you are saying handwritten recipes on dish towels. I just love that. Great idea. Um, Baby's handprint or footprints would work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. definitely oh yeah yeah as long i would um trace over it mm -hmm. or um take another copy mm -hmm. and um darken could, it maybe i was gonna say darken it so that maybe you still have that same look of the thumbprints and mm -hmm. stuff I oh yeah imagine. you totally could mm -hmm. it would be worth um trying out and bill is here <laughs> she said yes. the baby lock digitizing power in their embroidery machines is amazing it really is Hey, and if any of you um, have the Solaris, you should go watch her videos that we have. And Bill's? Yes. Oh, yeah. My She's gosh. an amazing teacher. That's where I learned a lot of the stuff about the Altair, too. Mm -hmm. the, um, Solaris has some of the, a lot of the same uh, things. Same thing. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, should for check sure. Those out too. I love that. Um, Sandy said that her daughter gave her framed recipes last year in her mother's handwriting. That is really neat. I love, I love that. that. Oh my goodness. Yep. Such beautiful ideas. I agree, Becky. Um, anyway, super fun. Thank you, Jess. You're welcome. Oh my goodness. So, I love, so much fun. I love machines. I love embroidery. I you love, love playing with them I love all. my baby lock altar. <laughs> That's where 